If Satan sees that you are trusting in God, he will flee from you. He, he, will, he will flee from you if he sees you're trusting in God. But if he sees, the only way he can get to you is get to you through something that he has to offer you, such as, you know, recognition by the world or positions by the world that he's in control of. And if you will bite that, if you will go after that, then he has a way to get into you. But if you resist him, he will flee from you, the Bible says. And I, I want to teach this to everybody that if you resist Satan, he will flee from you. But if you, if you in any way compromise and you allow him into your life in any way through uh, the mechanisms that he offers, and, and one of the ways that he does that is through the media. Satan owns clear channel media. He, 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 there's another one out there. There's a big one out there. I forget the name. All the so-called conservative, media, religious. He owns all of that. He's the prince of the power there. He owns it. He's owned it for years. He owns cable news. I want to I show you something, um, if you will. Many of you perhaps don't know this. Um, and I'll, I'll put it up in a better way in just a few moments. This is a... This is an explanation of the occultist satanic media and how these various institutions bow down to Satan. If you notice here, we have at the top line number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You see that? Yes. All right. And, and then underneath one, we have A. Underneath two, we have B. Underneath three, we have C. Underneath four, we have D. Underneath um, uh, five, we have G, uh, E rather. Underneath six, we have F. And seven, we have G. And eight, we have H. And nine, we have I. Do you see that? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. The first nine alphabets under the first nine letters. Do you see that? Well, if you follow this through, and I'm going to show it to you on a better pace, you look at J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, and then S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, all the alphabets under the first nine letters. You see that? Yeah, you do. All right, now here's the thing I want to point out to you. I want to point out to you about Fox News, how Fox News got its name, why Fox News is Fox News, and the occult that it is, the satanic, sodomite, occult that Fox News is. If you look under the alphabet six, under the number six rather, the first alphabet under the number six is F. On the second line of alphabet under the number six is O. Under the third, under the, the third alphabet under the number six is Fox. So what you have is 666. Fox represents 666. It's actually a satanic Satanist church. Fox News is, and Bill O'Reilly is the high priest of Satan's church, of Fox News. That's why they wield the power that they wield in the universe. And your, the thing that confuses you or that you're not able to understand is that Fox News, is the satanic church, just goes after a certain kind of people. It goes after people who think that somehow or another they're saved from being liberal or being left wing. But this is an occult, an occult organization. Fox News is a satanic church. It is a satanic organization. And they got their name from 666. So every time you turn on Fox in your house, you're turning on 666. Every time you allow Fox News into your living room, you are allowing 666. And it is, you know, all of its powers that it has comes directly from Satan. I mean, it's like L. Ron Hubbard and Dianetics. It's, it is it's just a satanic organization. Well, you shouldn't be surprised if you have any ounce of Holy Ghost in you, you shouldn't be surprised that Satan has set up temples and churches. You shouldn't be surprised at that at all. But I, I just want to say that to you because we need to begin to understand that we're going to have to counter this. 
We're going to have to counter it by setting up organizations that would represent Christ under the anointing of the power of God. And the way you are able to escape them using the National Defense Authorization Act against you or NASA, the spy agencies, is that you have to resist the devil. It's a very simple principle. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Don't compromise. Under no circumstance are you to ever compromise. A fellow told me while we were down in Memphis that I ought to compromise my beliefs, that I ought to sell my soul to Fox News so I can get my message out. Well, first of all, that's very confusing. I had to, for me, I have to re back up and calculate that like a, you know, backpedal like a duck in a whirlstorm, in a whirlwind. Because my message is an uncompromised message. He was telling me, well, if you go on Fox News, they'll get your message out. No, if I go on Fox News, it'll get Fox News message out that I have compromised, that I have been bought, that they can now own me. They can entice me with their power of viewership and I have capitulated. That's the message that will go out. That's the message that will go out. So well, no, you'll be able to say what you want. No, you will not. No, you will not. So we have to realize that in this day and age and time in which we are in at present, we're going to have to, we're going to have to establish ourselves. And there are a lot of people running around here claiming themselves to be Christians and they're no more Christians than the man in the moon. If there is a man in the moon, no, we got to recognize that. We, and as I was teaching earlier today, we got to recognize as well, there are a lot of people running around here saying they're against same-sex marriages, but they're not against sodomy. There's a difference. You got you to gotta watch these politicians. You got to watch them like a hawk because they will, they will, they know how to obfuscate. They know how to, they say, oh, who knows, marriage between a man and a woman. Well, they know they got cover on that with the Bible. And they know that even though you may be a sodomite, which may, many of you may be, or have had sodomy practice, don't do it anymore, will not be so quick to condemn sodomy because many of you got children. You got children under 30, they're probably sodomites, 90% of them. And so if you stand up, you know, and say you're, if a politician stands up and, you know, if Marco Rubio or Rick Santorum or whoever stands up and say he's against sodomy as a, as a sexual lifestyle, we're going to get kicked to the curb because you're going to protect your children. You're going to say, no, you are, you're not going to slam my children. You're not going to condemn. Them. That's my boy. That's my girl. You're not going to condemn it. So we have to realize that this is the battle that we're fighting. Fox News is a 666 organization. It's an occult organization. It is an organization that is set up to lure in a certain class of sinner. It is an organization set up to come right into your living room every night. They come right and spew and fill you with all kind of blasphemous, if you will, half-baked, half-truths. Fox News is 666. So every time you turn on Fox, remember you are allowing the number of the devil in your house, into your family, into your lives of your wives and your wife and your children. Unless you're a Mormon.